right, hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Cardboard for Mars. Uh, I am flying solo today, unfortunately. My uh, friend and compatriot Nima was unable to join me. Um, and we have a little bit of a league match going on here. So let's see what we can do. Uh, love cinematics. Uh, that's one of my absolute favorite ones. This looks like an insanely good cinematics hand here. Um, my other one was Thorgate, which I see no reason for Thorgate here. If cinematics uh, just just uh, starts you off with a lot more money, and uh, we don't need the power right away, and we have a fuel generators here, so we'll take fuel generators, AI for sure, protected Habs. Um, mine, titanium mine, and this is looking more like a steel than a space game, so I, I don't think I'll take satellites. Um, I could see taking uh, terraforming Ganymede just as an outside chance, like in 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 case. Um, let's see here. In case I get the other ones passed to me. Um, <laughs> um, and I do like local heat trapping, but it, it is good with cinematics because you get the cash back. But I, I don't, I don't know. It's not. Uh, I don't feel. <laughs> um. Let's see here. I like that. I'm basically just gonna try and get AI Central turned on here and then I can just draw most of what I need. I'm gonna take Terraforming Ganymede just in case. I think it's good. All right, let's do that. And oh, I get to go first. All right, I'm not gonna play uh, two actions or uh, one action at a time here. Probably get punished for it, but it's just too boring. It's too boring to watch. So we're playing um, Inventrix and Ecoline. <laughs> Flows of Pain. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think you're supposed to uh, say that that's your favorite medicine. I think that's... Uh, well, anyway. But I see the correlation there. Um, I think people can still shout out their suggestions. Um, honestly, like I won't look at the chat that much anyway, if you guys want to talk to each other, um, you probably should refrain from doing like, uh, <laughs> Carpe Bellum. It's in the freezer. It will happen later tonight. It just won't be on stream. Um, I think you guys can make comments. I wouldn't do, um, like, don't tell me oh, you should do this thing, which is just like a more efficiency kind of thing, but I, whatever. I mean, it's, I don't think it matters that much. Um, they can disqualify me if they like, but but I am I am advertising for the league right now. So by doing the stream and maybe, you know, ginning up more, in, I don't know, maybe more interest or something. So um, I'm likely to pass here. Um, there's there's no reason really to put protected Habs down and just indicate that I have that. So I'll just I'll just pass here. Um, Sid, you can definitely trash talk my moves. I make plenty of trash talkable moves. Um, so of course you're welcome to do that. Um, that's actually an interesting play. I I kind of like that. You know, trading a, a plant production for uh, for four cash on turn one. That doesn't doesn't seem bad to me. All right, cool. Thank you, Sid. Um, yeah, well, you're welcome. To, yeah, there should be like a punt, uh, punt counter on here. It's actually a little weird uh, streaming solo. Like, I feel like if you, if, if people don't make any comments in the chat, then I'm just going to be sitting here talking to myself for the next hour and a half, which is going to be a little depressing. Um, how about this? You can make comments, but you can throw in some, you can throw in some just like bad suggestions too, so that then I have to sort of figure out what are the good ones and then what are the bad ones. I mean, that seems, then there's like a little mini game going on. That seems fair. 
Dan Madden, I also hope I get bushes. That has been a a theme throughout my whole life, in fact. All right, let's see here. We really want science tags because we have AI Central. And solar wind power is great because uh, we could use that power as well. Um, so I'm quite happy with that. Um, that's a good pickup for us. I will not be selling AI. That I will not be doing. Uh, because I'm such an AI apologist, I will probably be playing it even on Gen 10, um, even if it makes no sense whatsoever, just, just, for, just in order to do so. So we have a good start for Builder. Um, okay, interesting. I think here we'll take Beam. I, I you know, like if... Um, Grass, not that great. I don't, in, in breathing filters, we could use the science tag, but it's not coming for a long time. So I'll just take the beam again. This is just a little tentative toe in the water on Jovian Strat, but uh, AI makes, makes it uh, quite plausible that we will draw into more multipliers. Um, never liked wave power very much, and I have enough power here, so I'm just gonna take fish. For Corona, that's true. I do. That is actually a good point, uh, Carpibellum. Carpellibellum. Carpelli. All right. Let's see here. Lightning Harvest came around. Don't really need any of those. I don't have a lot to do this turn, to be honest with you. I think we can take multiple cards here. I'm just going to take Solar Wind Power, Beam, and Fish. I'm going to skip Lightning Harvest, and I think we're basically just passing this generation. Um, not great. So Inventrix clearly moving towards getting Planner. Um, not sure what this player is going to be going for. We should have a good, a good builder um, hand here because we're already at four. So this is looking like just a pass the turn. It's not a great turn, but we, we did have a good turn one with our economy at five already. So we shall see. And we could end up with a very explosive uh, third or fourth turn if we just draw a few science tags. So we shall see. So let's see here. Yeah, Sid, that's because science is the best. You know, I've talked about this a lot on, on various of, of the, um, of the, uh, of the games that I play, but I don't understand why, why doesn't the uh, Stronghold games just release whole new sets of cards as expansions. Like, doesn't that seem like it'd be awesome? Like, that you just like Terraforming Mars season two or something like that, and just all new cards, it would be so good. And they, they could keep a couple of big like holdovers. Um, like they could keep, keep the Jovian strat. Yeah, I'm gonna ask one more time. Again, I don't wanna show them that I uh, protected Habs yet. Yeah, but what I mean is like, why not just make a whole new, I mean, they're releasing promo cards that are, you know, whatever, there's a few of them, but not like a whole new set of cards. And I think what would be cool is that the way that the game could be played in the future is to make a cube out of it, like a magic cube where you have a set of like three or 400 cards, but then you, you only take, you, you leave some in the deck. So some cards you're not sure if they're gonna come around, like that'd be cool. Um, you would need all the Jovians in there for sure, just so that people could do that strategy, but. 
I like our position here. I mean, we are a little dependent on the draw here, but uh, we we have we have a good setup if we get the right stuff. Okay, interesting. Corporate stronghold gives us a city. Not great. It is early enough that the money would come around. I think we're just going to take greenhouses here. I, corporate stronghold can be good, but I don't. Uh, I don't think it's amazing just with what we've got here. Okay, building industries is good. Now that's that's quite good for us because we can play wind power into building industries. Kind of a bummer to pass up Comet. That one's nice too, but um, but building industry is quite good for us right here. It's another building tag too, so that puts us at in the range of six, I think. Okay, awesome. So we got our science tag. I'm definitely keeping that one. In fact, I might even play it. It's it's a little annoying. Yeah, it's a good, this is a good IC start. I agree, Sid. I, I, sh I should be able to com be competitive in this one. I'm kind of bummed that, um, that uh, that city didn't come around because I, what I'd like to do is play photosynthesis. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take that one. I'm gonna skip zeppelins. That could be a mistake, but I'm gonna keep those. So what I'll do is I'll play solar wind power uh, to get my power here. And then play building industries. I'm at two tags now. You could also make a case for fuel generators into building industries just to conserve money and play more building tags. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. That's great advice. Uh, that is very good advice. So, The thing is, I have so much money right now that I, I just don't think that I need to be, I don't think I need to be, I don't think I need to take the hit to my economy to play the generators yet. And it's not a race for builder. Still way ahead on that. So I'm gonna play um, solar wind power into building industries. This has been a very good hand because I, I've been able to work towards a milestone and develop my economy uh, and keep a lot of cash. I still have a ton of cash. So um, this one, this could be a quite explosive depending on what I get here. One more science tag and, and, and AI is turned on and then I think we're off to the races. I think they've, they've done well in the first two drafts, though. I, the cards were not, like, amazing out of the first two drafts. So. Okay, good. Glad I conserved, glad I conserved that energy. Wow. Getting aggressive. This is like a... That's like a... Uh, that's like a that's like a private O'Malley move right there. That's kind of fun, Matt, to be like the the recipient of all of the uh, the hate. Hey, Closet Pin, thanks, man. Awesome. I haven't been streaming so much, so. Uh... Oh, I get an emote thanks to Closet Pin subscription. Wait. Thanks for the, what does that mean? Um, <laughs> thanks Wolf, thanks for the, uh, for the donation. I don't understand what that means, but I love it. Thank you. Um, I really do at some point need to like break out the Twitch user manual and figure out what we're doing. Um, here. Yeah, Corporate Stronghold. I actually think I would have played that had I had the op opportunity. Um, that's a good card for, that's a good card for Ecoline. Maybe I should have thought about that a little bit more. Um, okay, I think basically I'm done with this turn. There's not a lot for me to do. 
I'm going to hold off on protected halves. I have no reason to play it at this point. So, um, uh, thanks, uh, thanks, Closet Pin. I appreciate that. That's nice. That's nice of you. Um, it's fun. It's you know, I miss Nima, man. I, it's like uh, usually I've got like the little repartee with Nima. And, um, and I, you know, since Nima moved away, I don't get to hang out with him that much. It's like when we, uh, when we do the stream, it's kind of like my Nima hang sesh. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm kind of missing him. <laughs> there's a, I'll tell, I'll tell Nima that there's an emptiness in the air and it's not because, um, of a lack of his, uh, flatus. He was gonna he was gonna make it on tonight, but this game kind of got got going at short notice. And I don't know if you guys know, but why are some some divisions at like five matches into the thing, and then we're just on two? Is that just because we're we're slow? Not sure about that. I'm pretty excited about this draft. I really want to get one more science tag. I really want one more science tag. Here we go. Let let us pray to the terraforming Mars, God, Mars gods. Okay, okay. Hmm. Not not a science tag, but um Gotcha, Hodgepodge. Thanks. Um, we don't really need power. It It is a cheap building tag, which is nice, but I think Immigrant City is just good for us here. It's a cheap city. There's there's only one down, and Ecoline's going to want to play more cities, so I think I think Immigrant there is good. <laughs> power Grid. <laughs> you know, I don't think Power Grid's great right there. I'm just going to, you know, I'm not going to lie. So... Man, we really want one more science tag. Oh, oh are you kidding me? <laughs> yes, thank you. Yes. I really deserved that. I deserved that, really. God, is that could that have possibly been the best science tag? That one is just amazingly good. Um, okay. So this is going to be an awesome turn. Uh, we're going to play Photosynthesis. I am going to play this turn one at a time so that I... Oh, wow. Okay, well, we can definitely take Sabotage um, because uh, we're going to have Protected Hab, so we don't need to protect ourselves from Virus. And in fact, if somebody takes that, it'll be helpful for us and that they'll knock down the other person. So we'll definitely take the other one. And I think I will take it. Um, these guys are both cash poor. We have so much money. Um, and the, uh, the land claim could actually also be good for us. It only costs us one uh, because we have, we have um, or two, I guess, because we have... Uh, Cinematics. I'm definitely taking Sabotage. I have 48 cash and 17 steel. I'm going to be able to do everything I want. I'm taking it all. Uh, well, maybe I won't take Land Claim. I don't care about Land Claim. Uh, but I will keep all the others. All right, so I get to go first here. So let's see what we got here. All right, so I will play... I have a, I want to make sure that I do all this right. So I have one science stack. So I'm going to start with viral enhancers. And I'm going to pass. I want these guys to pass because just in case somebody has the other power hate card, I would prefer to play synthesis into um, immigrant and AI on the same turn so that I don't uh, um, get the power hate. I mean, I have a backup here, but it, number one, this reduces my economy, and number two, I'd rather save this in case I get another card. 
that would be good. And that's going to put me at six on Builder, right? If I play Immigrant and AI, that'll put me at six. Gen 4 AI is going to be pretty good. So the question is, where am I going to put this immigrant city down? I think I'll put it... Okay, he's out of money. He doesn't have that much money either. I don't think he's going to be placed. Okay, so... All right, so I think given that he's done that... Do I even really care? I don't even really care. Let's see here. He's at two cash and he's at three. So, I have enough money to do everything I want, right? 12, yeah, I should have plenty. I'm just going to go ahead and maybe I'll hold on to that. Um, all right, I'm going to go ahead and play the Habs here. Just to, eh, There's no need to. This is such a low risk. I'm just going to do this. All good. If I were playing O'Malley, I wouldn't do it. All right, and then let's go ahead and play the, the... Make sure I have enough money here. So I'm gonna have 11, yeah, plenty. I'm just gonna come over here and get this real estate, it's fine. There, There is a, a thought to be placing a city here just to prevent Ecoline from branching out, but I think I'm gonna, I think I should be able to outpace Ecoline uh regardless if they get a good city grid and i want them to play cities anyway just because i played immigrant so i'm gonna let eco line build unobstructed here <clears throat> so we'll get ai down and then we'll see what we get All right, here we go. Turn four AI. Gotta love that. That's awesome. I still have 16 cash. All right, now I can just do, I don't need to save my actions. Tectonic stress power and ice cap melting. Now let's see, what are, what are we looking at here? He's got 17, so he's got, he's got the uh, planner locked up. What am I here on builder? Six to two, and I have the, one cost power card, so I'll hold off on the sabotage for the moment. No reason to play greenhouses. I guess I guess I could play protected habs now. I have three plants. Tech stress power would be good. Really no reason. I'm just gonna play the protected habs here. Okay, cool. That seems like a sick turn. And Inventrix really, really hurting for cash, although they have a lot of cards. All right. Well, I do like Radchem. Water splitting plan actually works immediately for me with tech stress power. But I think I'm just gonna take Radchem here. I can I can play it with fuel generators and just take lockup builder. There's no oceans played. I'm just gonna take Radchem here. Um That's debatable. I, I, I could see text trust power there too. Okay, Earth Office. I have nothing, I have no earth tags. I do like earth office. I don't really need indentured workers, honestly. I'm gonna have plenty of money. I'm gonna take earth office. I think this has more upside, honestly. And it doesn't cost me a point. All 
All right, so I do want, with Protected Habs, I do want these uh, plant cards. And I have Viral Enhancers as well, so it's worth remembering that. I'm gonna take Heather. Also, if these guys play uh, the other card and cannibalize each, or take each other's plants and stuff, or Eco Lines Oxygen Bumps, that's fine with me. So I'm gonna go Radchem Earth Office, and I'm gonna take Heather. Uh, that's fine. I'll take those. Let's see what we get here. Nineteen cards. I mean, the other thing too is that if Flash Midnight doesn't take Planner this turn, I could sneak it from him very easily. Um, he might he might lose sight of that. It's possible. Okay, water splitting. I guess that was a mistake. I did not realize that he was at, at four already. Probably should have taken the splitting plant there. But he, he now no longer has enough money to fund planner. So uh, that could end up working out well for me. Let's see, how much money does he have? He has five. It might even be worth sabotaging him just to make sure he can't do it. Because he could sell, well, no, he can't. Because if he sold more than two cards, he would have he wouldn't have enough to do it. What's his actions again? He's got look and draw, and then bump his energy. I think I'm gonna be able to get that one too. Hykius is gonna get uh, gardener, but if I get two milestones out of here, I think I'm pretty set. And I'm definitely going to get Builder. Let's see here. I'm at 11, 12, 13 off of AI. Maybe I just pass the turn and go after Planner. See what he does. That's a good sign for me. Hopefully he'll build a city. All right, let's just draw some cards here. See what this guy does. I could have sabotaged him here, but I don't, I don't, well, I did pass the uh, indentured worker. Well, that, well, that won't help him for, for milestone. So unless he's got the one that gives him 10 credits. Um... <laughs> you can backseat hodgepodge. I'm, I'm barely paying attention anyway. Also, I just drew electro catapult, which seems quite good. Um... I'm not going to lie about that. That seems very good for us. So I'll play generators into catapult, which will basically give us builder. Got to keep an eye on my on the on the planner. <laughs> Sid, I think I'm in a good position here too. I I mean, you never know, but I have a I have a pretty strong setup right now. Um, I have AI going, I've got protected Habs, I'm about to have, okay, so he sold three, he's now at, okay, so now I can, <laughs> I can sabotage him, he's, cause he's got, he's got 15 cards, he's planning to action, <laughs> he's planning to action, buy that, oh no, cause if he did it, he wouldn't have enough, I don't even have to sabotage him. <laughs> the question is when I sabotage Flash Midnight right here, is he going to quit the game? I mean it is a league match. I don't know what the rules are, and I feel very bad, but this is going to be a filthy sabotage because also I make money on this sabotage because I'm Yeah, this is, I almost feel, I almost feel bad. I will say though that I did that math, so I knew that he couldn't get it. Um, 
I knew he was not going to be able to get it or I would have sabotaged him before. So he doesn't need to feel that bad. Um, but I am going to do this now. Um, this seems quite good. All right. Do you think adding an exclamation point does it does it make it less painful like when when the barb comes um I don't know. I mean I feel like it's like sorry, you know, like I'm a nice guy, sorry. I don't know. No, it just sounds <laughs> it just sounds like you're being sarcastic. Okay, what about sorry Smiley face, you know? Okay, closet, closet pit thinks I'm a nice guy. That's, I, you know. So let's take a look here. We have 12 cards. If I play, if I play generators into catapult and I sell a plant I will be at 10 cards which means I can I will have to take all four and draw I think I'm gonna pass on catapult for this turn because basically the money is just good I'm just gonna have to spend that money to buy two cards that I'm not gonna want likely No one's catching me on Builder. Mayor, no. Terraformer, no. Planner, I'm going to get it. I think I'm just going to pass here. So that I don't have to, so that I only have to buy two cards out of the, out of the next one. It's a little weird. Uh, it's a little weird not playing Catapult because Catapult is so dominant. But the problem is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spend all that money. I'm going to knock my, own, my production down another one. And then, um, and then I'm just going to end up having to buy two extra cards that I didn't want. Um, yeah, I'm not really planning on playing Asteroid Mining Closet Pin. I guess, I guess it's possible if I decide to go Jovians, but I, I don't think I'm going to have to. Um, all right, Strip Mine seems gross. Yeah, I'm going to take Strip Mine here. Um, I think I think I'm not going to need Jovians. To be honest with you, part of what's good about strip mine is that it just it just cannibalizes uh, eco lines oxygen points. With between Flash Midnight doing a bump on the oxygen every turn and me doing the also I should be able to get this bump with the uh, uh, with it. I mean, strip mine and bushes. Strip and bushes. The classic combo. Ooh, natural preserve. I do like natural preserve. I've got, I, I will have enough to play the other power, but I don't need it because I've got uh, tech stress power. So I'm going to take natural preserve here. That gives me a board square too. I like that. That's a good card. Because I'm at four tags. Yeah. So now if I start drawing the power the power cards, anti-grav, um, so forth, I'll be set up. All right, so I need to take two cards, draw and take planner. Feel bad for midnight. That that was that was unfortunately a big a big swing in this game. If I get that. Okay, Inventor's Guild. I do like Inventor's Guild. I'm going to have a lot of money with Catapult. Um, I'll go ahead and take Inventor's Guild here. Well, Convoy is super good with fish. There's zero ocean tiles, which means I'm probably going to get full value on it too. Five plants, more cards. 
don't need the science tag with this being stick. It's going to be five, I guess. It's a little tough. I feel like I'm going to draw more science tags, though. I'm going to take Convoy here. I, if I were going to go into Jovians, I would have taken the other one just so I could see more cards, but I don't think I'm going into it. I don't think I'm going into that. All right, so we're going to take Convoy, Preserve, and Strip Mine. And then I need to be a little cognizant of, of where we're at with uh, the Oxygen. He's unlikely to play a Greenery, so I think that's going to be good. All right. So turn one, or, or my first action here is going to be draw cards and take planner, and then and then we will then we will see what happens. Has Cuban streaming? I need to I need to talk to that guy. I haven't I haven't talked to Q in ages. I feel like I gotta get him onto a stream. I miss streaming with him too. Man, so the league really got him going, huh? He's all fired up about it. Came out of retirement. Oh, <laughs> there. <laughs> he was a good player, man. I. He is he's very good. He's and, and you know, usually when he was playing with me, he was just doing it because I think he likes streaming with me. He wasn't playing that much, so he wasn't like fully in, in practice. Um but man, when he when he gets going, he's he's the real deal. All right, don't let me mess this up now. Now I'm gonna mess this up. No, I won't. Okay. Draw some cards, take planner. I am I am just gonna be radio silent here. I am not going to put any exclamation points or anything. Wow, that's a good card for us. Old fungus. Okay. Alright, so now that we have planner, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go for catapult. And builder. Let's get the catapult down. Let's work on our economy. Probably catapult preserve. Question is, can we do we have enough money to get Do we have enough money to get uh to use tech stress power? Because I actually have a lot of things that I would like to use power for. So if I let's see here. So 18 and 17 would be 30. Five and I have 24 and 14 is 39. I do, so I think I'll probably just do that. There is one power hate card left, but this gives me an excess, so there's there's no problem with that. I don't think they're going to pass me a mass converter or something like that, so. This one gives me four, five, six, seven, eight. Could I play strip mine this turn? I don't think so. 25, 38, 43, 24, and 14, 39. I'm a little short on that one. I'll play that next turn. Calculator. <laughs> yeah, the score the score overlay I, I think is um I mean it's clearly very helpful, but it does reduce some of the suspense. I, I do think there's a, a fun moment in these games where you have to you have to make a decision about whether or not to end it, and I think it's it's clearly much easier with the calculator. Um I'm I'm not a huge fan of that for just for the 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 fun of watching the game, but all 
Okay. All right, one more greenery bump, and we can um, we can take uh, we can we can get this double bump here. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I I forgot that this guy had the the bump. That's okay. That that wasn't a critical card. Um. Trying to decide if I should just sell some cards and play the strip mine. Probably not, given given where we are here. Save it for another turn. I'm gonna hold off on tech stress power for right now. I'm just gonna play this guy. And I'm gonna play the electro catapult. Oh, a plant. Puts me at a lock for builder, as long as I don't lose one of the other milestones. Mayor, unlikely. Terraformer, unlikely. I should I should have builder locked up here. I have twenty cash. I mean I could just play um I could just play asteroid mining here. N six. Game goes let's say this game goes eleven. Maybe ten. Probably eleven if I don't terraform much. That'll be another basically pay for itself and be two points and set me up for Jovian if I decide I want to do that. I'm gonna play it. That's this is the turn to play it. Will I have enough to strip my next turn? That's the mo that's that's gonna be the mo if I do that because I'll need to play X stress power and strip mine. That's gonna be forty three. And I will have I'll have to do the math after I do the uh, <laughs> that's quite possible, Sid. I mean, drawing two cards a turn though just it means you see six cards per turn, like it's pretty unlikely I'll get shorted on science tags for the whole game. All right, so if I if I buy if I put asteroid mining down, then that will cost me fifteen of my own cash. It'll leave me with twelve. Twelve plus eighteen plus three. Twelve plus eighteen thirty-six. I will be short. So I can't play cannot play asteroid mining if I want to play strip mine next turn. And I do want to play strip mine next. There. So I think the time for asteroid mining has passed. It's a little tough. Actually, no, I will have enough because I can sell another plant. I'll be at 12 plus 18 is 30. Six. I'll have exactly forty-three if I sell a plant, but I can take no cards out of the draft. I 
mean, it is just a free two points. Got all this titanium sitting here. They're pretty similar. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. For, I'm gonna play the mining. Fine. That's debatable. I guess the other thing I should have factored in is that I, I'm going to want to take Builder this next turn. <sighs> I probably should have just not played that card. That was a little greedy, I think. Okay, so... You like pets, and I have Earth Office as well. That's pretty cheap. You can just let them hate each other with the asteroid. I mean, this is good because it gives a bump, but like, whatever. I don't really need that. I'm gonna take pets here. Um, <clears throat> with Viral Enhancers, I think that's just gonna be good. I wish I hadn't played that asteroid mining. That was, I think that was a poor play. I should have just focused on getting strip mine down because I'm, I'm gonna wanna take, I'm gonna wanna take pets. I can sell some of these cards. Like I can sell fungus and preserve, so I can take one card out of here. Um, ah, hello, sir. Yes, indeed. It probably was correct to take giant ice asteroid, but <laughs> seriously, I know, I know, Carpet Bell. I, uh, I really do need to like have a time machine to tell myself not to do stupid stuff. It's okay. Ultimately, what's going to happen is I'm going to delay playing strip mine a turn. I'm not sure. I think it may end up working out. Well, no, because Midnight's going to bump the oxygen this turn. Yeah, that was stupid. I just should not have bought that thing. That was, that was a dumb play. I mean, I guess I could skip pets. It's pretty good, but I have fish for the convoy. I don't need pets. Hmm. Hackers. I feel like this hackers is going to be coming my way. It's pretty late, though. I don't even care. There's still some good spot tile spots here, too, for these oceans. But I'm not going to buy that card. I don't need that one. All right, so I'm definitely taking anti-grav. Question about pets. It's, it's a pretty cheap pets. With anti-grav, it comes down to five. And the um, Earth Office. If I take anti-grav, I can still play, by selling some cards, I can still play tech stress power and get strip mine off. So I think I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take anti-grav here. And, and we'll see what happens. And I'm gonna go ahead and start by selling plant to get my money up to the amount that I need. I don't I don't think this is gonna go down this turn. So I think I don't I don't think I have to sell cards just to be prepared to try and uh, minimize my actions there. Okay, mining area, that's interesting. Too bad that they put uh, they kind of got me there. So what I will do is All right. So 3440. I need to sell 3 cards to have enough money to do this. I also need to keep an eye on Builder because I, I don't want to lose that because because of this sequence. I have to watch what this guy's doing. He just has no money though. There's a building tag though.
Man, Sid, Sid may have called this one. I'm going to end up uh, finishing this game without getting to anti-grab because I, I didn't get the preserve down. And honestly, the preserve would have been great because I probably would have put it here and I would have been able to get the mining area down, which kind of sucks, but oh well. So it is a little annoying, but I'm going to just sell one card a turn here because I want to I want to see how many building tags Flash Midnight gets to. I want to make sure that he doesn't get to 7. I think it's quite unlikely given he's got 7 money. But you never know. Okay. I think these guys have recognized that <laughs> I have had a good start. Uh, let's see here. Let's just sell. I mean, I could hold natural preserve in case I drew. Uh, what's it? Uh, the one that gives you the change in the global requirements. But I think that these are about to go because Flash Midnight's about to bump the oxygen one. He's got another oxygen bump. Hmm. I don't think they have enough money to capitalize on on this. They're going to set me up for this. I don't think there's a way around it. Yeah, adaptation tech card pick. Yeah, it must be really painful watching me play this this like horrible sequencing these are like the the kind of matches that are super painful to watch when somebody has like 20 cards and they're taking like non-optimal sequencing but uh, i'm definitely prone to that i think my my big mistake here was just i should not have played there was no real reason to play um asteroid mining my, my cards were powerful enough without that and you know what I think that basically delayed me getting preserved down and things that would have just been I think better but it's gonna end up being essentially a free two points it's not bad At minus two VP minus one, and I've got four. I'm gonna have two milestones. Man, I certainly cannot complain about my draws in these first two league matches. I've, I've been, I've been very fortunate. Um, as he's pushing for. I guess that's interesting. I should keep an eye on that. He's pushing for uh, Terraformer. He is going before me, and he may have Giant Ice Asteroid. Worth considering that. Um, I need to sell, let's see here. I need to sell two cards, 35, 41. Make sure I did that math right. 18, 5. Yeah, okay, I gotta sell two cards. Well, I'm not, I'm gonna I'm gonna sell um, natural preserve. Um, they like most of these other cards. This mining area is not gonna be that good in the game. I'm not gonna need it anyway with um, with. With playing a uh, strip mine, I'm gonna have such good production. I guess the other option on the chopping block would be like ice cap melting, but I actually think that card might get played. It's so cheap. I could sell beam, but I guess I'm just gonna keep the keep the the dream alive with those. I think I'm just gonna get rid of mining area. I don't I don't have a clear way to play that right now. And I'm gonna go ahead and play the tech 
hour now. There's, I don't think it makes that much of a difference here. Okay, he passed. So there's no way he can take it from me. Um, builder, that is. So the question here is, if, if he has giant ice asteroid, he could sneak out terraformer. So annoying. Past. Now he cannot. Now, now there's no way that he can take it from me because if he goes, he plays Ice Asteroid as his first move. There's no way he can get it. So yeah, I'm just, I'm just free and clear here on uh, Trip Mine now. All right, well, that worked out pretty well. I think we're good. If he had played that plant, it would have been a lot more tricky for me because he could have gone at Giant Ice Asteroid into Terraformer. There's no way to get a bump of five. <clears throat> There's no way to get a bump of five in, in one action, so... I should be able to get Builder. Let's take a quick look here at our tags. I've got one event tag. Three, that's four. <clears throat> this is tough. I could also take Nitrite because it works with um, imported nitrogen. Media Archives is not super scary. I don't need more cards. I'm going to take Nitrite. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. Maybe I'll just take the money. <clears throat> I have Earth Office too. Like this is gonna end up being two points for fourteen. Hmm. <clears throat> I think I can do better than that. Ooh, I O. I have seven titanium. There's not that many cities on this board. And I've got tons of ways to, to use space or titanium right now. I'm taking IO. I wonder if I have enough for that this turn. I'm gonna have sell a thing 28 and seven times three is 21. So I've got like 50 and I have enough to play it. Ooh, a colony ship. Don't mind if I do. I think I sold Extreme Cold Fungus. Um, but I'm I'm a little cash poor on my economy. Or at least on the mega credit. Um I'm not sure I would have taken that anyway. Definitely taking that. If I'm gonna play Jovians here, I think I am. We got one tag, two, three. Yep, 
be a two pointer. A lot of money. Another option would just be to just lean to these things and just spend all just spend all on that. That's probably better, honestly. This came around. That's interesting. I'm gonna take colony ship. I think with two milestones, I'm just gonna lean into terraforming and just play these just play these cards. I, sh I sh that should catch me up. I should be able to win that way. Nitrite is tempting. I just don't think I have the money for it. The other thing that's nice about archives here is that if I do this, uh, thanks, Sid, yeah. I think if I lean into these uh, events, it actually powers up my own archives, which is good too. Um, doesn't look like uh, AI is gonna get turned on in this game unless I draw some <clears throat> some science tags like uh, essentially immediately. But I'm gonna take Builder here first. And then see what's going on. Let's take a look at all the wards here. I'm not doing great on on landlord, but I'll catch up a little bit. Uh, banker, <laughs> pretty poor. Scientist, I'm okay. Thermal is not great. Miner, I'm doing. I should have miner. I might want to fund miner this time too. You guys have zero. So maybe I'll fund miner and builder. Just basically take this turn off and then set up. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to take Builder here. And go ahead and draw two cards. And then on the next turn, I'll sell a plant and fund um, Builder. I think these guys are pretty cash poor too, honestly. Yeah, I agree, Sid. I think it was a little bit of a trap. I already made a mistake playing the, the other one. I shouldn't have done it. I should have just kept that titanium and just um, used it for this other stuff. Um, well, I got underground detonations. That card's sweet. All right, so which ones do I want to play off of this? I think I'll play Radchem this turn. Yeah, that's true, Sid. It's definitely true. I'll get towing a Comet down. Definitely want to do this before the Oxygen runs out. And I, I can get that Titanium Square, which is good. So let's go ahead and sell these guys. Fun miner. Well, that's cheap. And I'll play Towing a Comet next. 
that titanium. Play Radchem. And might have enough for Heather at that point. We'll see. <laughs> I, I need an underground uh, detonations emoji. I definitely do. That card. So strong. Negative four VP. That is good for me. I'm going to need to catch up a little bit on this TR though. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this guy down here while we can. Take more titanium. And let's go ahead and get Radchem down. There's one, two, three cities. I think if there's any way I can squeak out this last oxygen bump, I'm gonna get maybe five. So if I play this one, that'll put me at four. Close. Play. A large convoy. I want to save this for points on fish though. I think I'm gonna I am gonna get to fire off this ice cap melting, I think, in this game. And I think I passed uh Lake Marinara. So that that card's gonna be insane in this one. Thirteen cards. So definitely gonna play Heather. Is it worth it? I have a ton else to do, honestly. I'll do that, it's fine. Um, oh, I forgot about the fact that I have uh, Fire Enhancer. So this actually picks me up an extra one. So there's three cities on the board. One, two, three. That would give me exactly eight. a couple of these cards that I want. Where I'd have to sell two more cards I don't want to do. I could sell anti-grab at this point, honestly. Probably beam as well. A little early for greenhouses, but it does give me another point and it takes a point from from yellow because green is likely to do the oxygen bump. I don't hate that. It's a little bit of a weak uh two, three, four. He's unlikely to take both. I think I can just I'll just wait one turn. 
Okay. Man, I'm a little rusty. I have not played I have not played much TM. We've been doing those strategy vids. Card reviews. Ooh, workforce is sweet. I think I have uh I play uh oh no, I was thinking of Oh, pretty good though. That. There are scenarios in which that could be good. Uh, domed crater not going to help me. Like him, I guess. Man, it's like the whole point of streaming is to interact with the chat, but nobody's interacting with me. I feel like I'm just. I know, I know when the chat gets quiet that I'm messing up. See, the problem is like you, even you know, if you can't even like pretend not to. All right, question is, do I take Robotic Workforce? I mean, I definitely don't need these cards. I don't need Windmills either. I guess Windmills actually isn't so bad. It's, it gives me a way to, to play this uh, Steel, which I don't have much to do with. I think I will actually take that. Um, think about Robotic Workforce. Gives me another science tag. I may actually just need anti-grab just for points at the end. I don't have a lot else going on in this game. I'm gonna take the robotic workforce. Um, so I think I'm actually going to start this round by just playing um, weirdly greenhouses and just get my extra point off it while I can. It also I think Kaikius is my my biggest uh, the most likely my 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 worst my more more difficult opponent at this point. So I think closet pin. No, I'm a um, I'm in ear, nose, and throat, but I have a fellowship in oncology, so I mostly do head and neck oncology. Yeah, I love it. It's a, it's awesome. I was I feel so lucky to have found that specialty. I when you're in medical school, you just rotate around, and um, I was all set to do orthopedics, and then and then I just spent a couple weeks with these um, actually some of my current partners who were um, my professors at the time, and I just really liked it. Are you? Uh, yeah, well, there he is right there, that guy, Olsen, who uh, was one of my, my mentors and is like my, my work BFF now. <laughs> so Closet Pin, like, are you in medicine? Because telling somebody that you think they look like an orthopedic surgeon is not usually a compliment. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. Where, what do you, uh, where are you? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Where do you, uh, where do you go to school? Cool.
Cool. What are you going to, so are you applying to uh, residencies right now? Or I guess that's, I guess that's kind of next year for you. Yeah, that's in your fourth year, obviously. Um, what are you going to, uh, what, are you, what are you looking to go into? Yeah, the VPs are going to go up uh, quite a bit, I think, in this game. Oh, cool, Peds. That's awesome. <laughs> Too much time. Um, man, that, uh, that uh, protected halves has been great for me. Um, these guys are very astutely just trying to end the game. Ooh, okay. Well, the game is going to end pretty quickly. I think I'm still ahead of Kaikius, but it's it's close. Um, so let's see here. Does that change my plan? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do I'm gonna take the points while I can because I think he's about to play another one. I'm hoping that this guy will bump oxygen right now and prevent Kaikius from getting another point. Um, I think I'm losing it actually right now. Let's see here. So I got, I'm plus five on here to Kaikius. That puts me at 30, uh, three. I have five VP, 38. Good, he did that. And got a lot more points on here. He's negative four VP. That gets rid of some of these. I don't know, it's close right now. Then I've got five on this. Okay. Got the that one titanium could be my undoing. I guess he's got one as well. Mm, I I hopefully should be able to to catch this up because I do have a lot of potential ways to score points here. Um, got a cheap ice cap melting. Although I almost want to make sure that I don't uh, aim end here. Quite unlikely to. He's at seven thirty-two. Five oceans out. Okay. Do I have anything else to spend this steel on? Just the windmills? I'll sell it. I'll sell a green. All right. Regretfully, I do not think that anti grab is going to figure into this one. Game's definitely ending next generation. So I think I'm gonna scoop up the points that I can. I can get fish down. Ice cap melting. Nitrogen. Yeah, for sure, closet pin, for sure. Those two milestones really helped me. Okay, that's not such a big deal. I didn't really have a great way to spend that steel anyway. I'll just wait and play. I'll play uh, windmills next turn. Actually lead next generation too, so I can play um, I can get the full value on the convoy potentially. Four points plus five points, seven points. It's gonna be a seven point. <laughs> All right, Prince of Persia. Thank you for subscribing to your own channel. That is that is awesome.
All right, so let's go ahead and do ice cap melting. Um, I guess I could just take a card. Again, I don't have a great way to spend that steel. It's not like the steel is so enthralling. I probably just need money. I don't want to just set him up to get cash back. I want to make him as cash poor as possible. I guess I'll just do that. All right. Um, and let's go ahead and get, let's see here. I could take his greenery, but I'm actually, I'm not going to do that. I think I think this one's all about, uh, man, I'm going to end this game with negative MC production. That is quite unusual. I'm not going to lie about that. Yeah, that preserve actually was costly. Although in the end, I, I didn't actually see more science tags. It, it didn't. It didn't end up changing that much. I wouldn't have been able to get the anti grav down. Um, so in the end, I don't. I don't actually think it costs that much. Anthracite, you like this hand? I feel like I should be crushing this game, but I'm. I don't think I am. <laughs> that just shows how good. How how good a player I am. I don't think they have the money to. I wasn't too worried. I mean, there's still three, four, five, five steps left. Um, that's true. Marinaris could have done it. I that that passed in this game too. That was passed around here. So let's see here. I'm just gonna play this stupid Earth Office before I forget not to and start playing all the other cards that that key off of it. That is definitely something I would do. So landlord. <laughs> Actually, that that's a reason why I may have wanted to hit this guy's plant production, but. All right, 15 minutes here, so let's take a look here. Um, definitely selling these guys. Let's see here. What about Thermalist? What are these guys doing here? I have eight, I've got one, four. Thermalist I'm not, even if I played Carbonate, not gonna be doing that. Play that next turn with my Steel. There's no reason to play robotic workforce. Probably just play the convoy. Draw some cards. It's a good fish right there. All right, let's see what we drew. Uh, geothermal, Noctis, I'm gonna save that anti-grav just, just in case. You never know, never know. And I think that's it. No need to do anything else. Banker, I'm getting crushed. Scientist, I'm narrowly ahead. Thermalist, not much. Landlord, not much. All right, let's see what we got here.
Thanks, Garth. Yeah. Um, I feel like the VP difference now is starting to be significant. Um, so that's good. Yeah, none of these are really that amazing. I think I'll just take shuttles. Do I care if this guy gets more? Not really. Take shuttles. Just keep him off VP. Outpost. Hmm. I don't think that's going to be what I need. Protected Valley. So I don't think I really need any of those. It's going to be too expensive to get anti-grab on. How many tags do I have? Four. I mean, if I were going to fund another award with it, but I don't think so. I think I'm just playing imported interstellar. That's already 41, 30, four back, 36, or seven. That's basically going to be all my money. So, what are we at now on events? Kind of nice not playing a game where I'm so rushed. Six, seven, eight, twelve. And I'm, it's going to cost me five to play that media, so I'm going to get some back. I'm going to sell some stuff. Got one Jovian, so that's not happening. Is there a world in which I play? Is there a world in which I take research outpost, play it, get a science tag, and still play anti grab? I don't think so. I take shuttles. I'm going to play colony ship and nitrogen. Gains me four off, it's a point. I'm gonna have the extra power with windmills. That costs me a pretty good deal. And it gets me out of the, and it means that I won't end the game with negative MC production. Six shuttles. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, I do have Robotic Workforce as my fifth tag if I don't draw something better um, for the, um, for the uh, shuttles. Let's see what we get here. Decomposers. It's actually good. It's good with the nitrogen, right? Just a point. Um, that seems sweet. All right, let's all, okay, so I don't think I need all that steel. We can just, actually, I do have a way to sell, I, I can use that steel for Noctis. I will sell a plant. Hope I don't show, end up one plant short. That would be annoying. So, does the game end this one? And who's going to fund what award? Nice. That's actually good for me, just to kind of have him take up some space over there.
Do I have any negative points? I don't think so. This guy played pretty well, I feel like. I feel like I had a pretty busted hand, and I, I don't think I've really played it that way. <laughs> Yeah, I agree, Sid. That's true, but I, I just find it usually doesn't get there, but um, he's doing a pretty good job here. He's got enough money that he's going to be able to do He could fund some awards. Um, no, I don't have any event rebates, and I didn't really have a way to build my economy other than just minerals. I, I never got a way... Never saw cards that would allow me to build my mega credit production. I agree. I agree, Sid. That was a big error. In the end, I don't think it, it didn't really cost me much, um, except for tempo. Um, Because I basically got all that money back, but uh, it would have, I mean, I would have, I would have preferred to have that flexible, and it would have been better to have that, um, for sure, it would have been better for me to get the, uh, whatever that science tag with the 4% thing, what, you know, that would have been better. I was just a little cramped all game on my MC production. I never got anything early. That really let me expand that. I, I had minerals, which is good, but okay, that's good. Curious about these awards. Who's six? Did so it was seven, eight, nine, ten. Six times four is twenty-four. It cost me six credits for two points. It's not terrible, um, but in the end, I, I I wish I had not played it. Yeah, I agree. No, natural. I think natural preserve would have just been better. It would have been cheaper uh, for one for one point. I don't know. It would have given me the science tag I'm going to need. I'm going to end up having to play this robotic workforce just so that I can play colony ship. Not great. Yeah, there's the landlord. Landlord is actually not the worst one for me. Um, I think I might have a chance on that. Let's see here. Down by one on that? No, two. He's going to get one more plant. I think. Yeah, one more plant. So that one's actually not going to work out great for me. Um, well, let's do... Let's do windmills. into uh, shuttles. More points. Then we'll play decomposers and imported nitrogen. And this card's sweet for me. So it's going to be two, three, four points, four pointer. That's good. Is there any way? Okay, so if I if I I'm going to get three on there, four, five, and one. one. Yeah, I agree. 
That's definitely true, Sid. I th um, let's see here. What were the other ones? I mean, if yeah, let's see. Let's see what happens here. It looks like this game this may not even end this generate. Out, he's out. They're both out of money. Not even gonna end this generation. that change anything like would I rather just fund an award now would I fund try and fund scientist although how many cards do these guys have 12 and 2 It's a little risky funding scientists, but the problem is my these other awards are not great for me. Banker, I'm definitely not winning. Scientist, I, I could, but then my my biggest risk is the one that would capitalize if I if I fail. I, I think it's too risky. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and do decomposers. If we're gonna go another generation, I'm gonna just put the microbe on it because I think I'm gonna get another point off of that. And then we'll just set up for for the nitrogen. I'll, I'll use this titanium to play a colony ship next turn. I have to pick up my pace here just a little bit. So then, I guess I'm just going to pass. I'll play, play plants, I'll play Noctis farming. I mean, at this point, he's got a lot of money, but the other thing, too, is that it actually, like, another generation could let me sneak into uh, contention on um, second place of uh, Landlord. Thermalist, I've got nothing. Now, th these awards are not awesome for me, and I'm, I'm out of position next turn, which kind of sucks. But... Pretty wide gap in VP now, because I'm at 19. I have the the ask the um, large convoy. I think that still works that way. Not sure why he sold all those cards. I guess they were just not not going to help him. I don't think this game's ending. And urbanized area would be. I guess it wouldn't really help me that much. over here somewhere but negative two VP so the, the point difference here is I'm gonna be at 19 it's 21 point difference here on the VP to get even further oh wait that's the wrong guy six a wash oh close right down here
Well, the question is, do I play a robotic workforce? If I play it, I get three back. A little bit of a risk, but I'm, I'm just going to play it, whatever. I'm going to bump my titanium. Um, because I think I'm going to want that tag. I'm not going to fund scientists now, but depending on what I draw, it, it could be, it could allow me to do that. He's at 58. No cards. Ooh, Noctis, is that good? Oh, yes. Noctis is good. That was good. I do need some energy for that, but I've got, I've got geothermal if I have to. Probes. Um, ooh, alloys. Does that get me to... Yeah, it's possible. Possible Sid. I probably should have just waited on it, but I wanted the three I wanted the three cash back. With alloys though, that's gonna get me to six tags. I might if I get one more science tag, I actually might be able to play anti-grav. And alloys is essentially free. Um if I can spend all of this. <laughs> yeah, the dream is alive. The dream is alive. There it is. All right, I'm gonna take Alloys, I'm gonna take Noctis for sure. And we shall see. I think that the last award is gonna get funded. before it gets to me. But I think I have enough to do with my, with my, I, I now have enough to do with my money that I don't need to fund that award. <laughs> I'm the award. <laughs> I, I don't know about that. The thing is, it's it's pretty risky for them. Well, now Thermalist is out. I could fund Thermalist and just and just play Carbonate Processing and Beam or something like that. Um, we'll see what we draw. Banker's completely unsafe. I don't think anybody's going to fund that. And Scientist, yeah, it may be that nobody funds the awards and I can just decide at the end by waiting them out if it's advantageous for me to have it, go for scientist. Okay. So let's just draw some cards, put an animal on here. Space elevator and tardigrades. Gosh, darn it. So close. That, uh, that, uh, what's that card again called? The, the one that the uh, natural preserve, that thing is just killing me. That was a really bad play because I would have been able to get anti grab off now. Oh well. Oh well. So now I have things to spend this steel on though, so I can... It does. That thing is haunting me, there is no doubt.
So industrial industrial microbes actually puts another microbe on my whatever thing. I wonder if they're gonna end the game here or just try and time me out. <laughs> but I need to just like That's possible what they're going for. I guess I'll have to just play a little faster here. Um Play alloys. Into colony ship. If it goes another round, I would probably time out. Maybe. I can play pretty fast at this point. I'm gonna sell a plant and I'm gonna play uh, Advanced Alloys next one. Okay, yeah, game's over then. Okay, so unlikely to time out, that's good. Let's go ahead and sell a plant. Play alloys. Then I will play colony ship. How many? I've got five on decomposers. So as long as I play either Noctis farming grades or microbes I'll, I'll be good I'm gonna need one I think Noctis is still just better than space elevator even if I have to play debatable I don't know why he didn't play it next to it. Oh, he wants second on mineral on the mineral thing. That's actually pretty smart. Oh. Whatever, he's still one behind. <laughs> so he's trying to decide whether or not to fund another award. And yeah, thermalist. Okay. So he's gonna be at seven. He's gonna be at one. I will be at one. I don't actually have to do anything to get second on that. That's pretty good. That's so that's only three points for 20. That is not bad for me. So let's go ahead and do uh, this guy. Do I have anything to spend that last titanium on? I'll overpay by one. So, what is the maximum number of? Does not look like I will be playing these cards or anti grav. Sell those. Wonder if I can figure out how to get up to nine on this. Hmm. 
A cell beam. I think I will get there if I play if I play tardigrades. I can actually. Oh no, it's not. It's. Uh, I thought this was the one that lets you put one on there. Um. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I am one plant short. That's annoying. Oh, Nox is going to be two. Okay, that's good. Hmm. I wonder. I wonder how close this game is going to be. I, I feel like I got bailed out by points here, but. I'm going to keep an eye on this guy's thermalist because I can always play I could play carbonate to to get to get back into the second place on that. <laughs> right, but how much more exciting is this not having the score tracker because everybody's just like what is the score? All right, so I'm going to play. Um, let's see here. Do I play industrial microbes or geothermal? Geothermal is safer because I could play processing if I need to and Noctis. But this one gives me another uh, microbe on tardigrades. I'm going to go with geothermal. It's safer. All right, so then I can play Media Archives. That was stupid. I should have kept one steel. All right, I'm gonna play this guy then. I'm gonna play uh, this guy. This guy, yeah, he's not gonna get me there. Okay, so I don't need to play carbonate processing. Uh, not gonna play that. Play space elevator, or I could just play like six. So let's just, that's oh, my turn. So I guess I could just go greenery, greenery. Greenery. I guess I don't really, I guess, uh, let's see here. Fine, whatever. That gets me my last one. I can sell these and just play a city. That might get me to Builder, or the Landlord second one. Oh gosh, I'm one short. That was stupid. Oh well. All right. Uh, that, was, that was bad. I should have... Uh, <laughs> I meant to buy a city there and just put it here, which would have been the same as playing the, uh, um, the, uh, oh yeah, shoot, I forgot about that. I should have gotten the other standard project greenery. 
<laughs> I'm down to a minute, so I was getting worried. I'm at 48 seconds, so I just I got I got a little uh, a little stressed. If I lose this by less than if by two points or less, I'll be bummed because that would have been two more points. What I was thinking was I would just sell that play the city here so that I get another tile on the board. Might have gotten me to tie on landlord, but I'm I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure. Let's just count it here. I don't think so. I think I'm one short. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'll have six. Oh yeah, mohole. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be costly. That's a four point swing. So if I lose this game by just a little bit, um that will be uh my fault. Um, I hope I got enough to get there, but we shall see. We shall see. Ooh, just got there. Um, close game though. <laughs> It was a close game. That um, the planner milestone was uh, was key. There's no doubt. Um, thanks, guys. Thanks, everyone. Man, I felt like I felt like uh, everybody was just sitting there judging me. You know, like that was not as much fun. Usually, like you know, people are just telling me what I'm about to mess up. Um, well, definitely not my tightest game, uh, but it was, it was well played. I will, I will, uh, give some kudos. I thought, uh, Kaikius, the Ecoline player played very solid, um, very solid there and was a little unlucky because I think that the, the Inventrix player, um, I think was set up to get planner and probably should have had that. And just sort of made a miscalculation um, and um, yeah so you know I think without that mile with the without the milestone it would have been exceedingly close um, if I hadn't made that play I, I mean I would have had four more points uh, if I had play, if I had just done what I should have done that would have put me at 89. So I don't know, definitely definitely a game that uh, could have lost. I, I felt like I was pretty lucky with my cards and um, yeah, it was that was a critical sabotage. There's no doubt that helped a lot. Um, definitely feel like I could have played better. <laughs> I feel like when you get, <laughs> When you get a turn four AI, there's not a lot of excuses, but uh, um, I don't know. Um, yeah, the 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 preserve play really really cost me because um, had I had that down, I would have been able to get anti grav on another cheap three points. Um, you know, so. Well, anyway, that was super fun. Um, and uh, I guess I'll, I'll keep streaming these things. Um, and, and we'll take from there. Nima, man, I missed you. Uh, I felt, I felt, uh, yeah, Sid, yeah, the mining area. And actually, that would have helped me with Landlord, too. So, you know, but um, Nima, I was missing you, man. I really felt, I felt uh, lonely. It felt lonely. Uh, I was just sitting here playing. Everybody in the chat was was not commenting because they felt it would be unsportsmanlike. 
You know, just I was just being judged. <laughs> Um, but uh, nonetheless, a fun game. Uh, so thank you everyone for, for coming on out. That was, that was a really fun stream. Um, and, uh, closet pin. Thank you for the subscription. That was great. Um, and, uh, I'm just running out of things to say here. That does not happen often, but you know, when I've just been up here holding the mic solo for the last two hours. I'm, I got nothing else. Um, Carpe, I, I'm not sure uh, when the next game is. Um, so far, I've just sort of waited for people to email me, but I do know, I, now I know where the, now I know where the, uh, the league thing is. So I can check it uh, probably next weekend or this coming weekend. I'm trying to get another game in there. So we'll see if Nemo wants to come on by and join me for that one. Um, if the league wants to disqualify me, that's fine. But I like playing with Nima. He's worth it. Nima, you are worth it. You are worth getting disqualified for. So, um, all right. Once again, thank you, everyone. I will catch you on the next one.